YouTube, just checking in on this Saturday morning, man. Listen, guys, stocks that you want to own during a bear market, guys. And this is just assuming that we may be going into a a period in which stocks will stay and remain down 20%. Stocks that you may want to own during this time will be as follows. Now, check this out, guys. You know around here, and it's a principle. It's almost law at this point. We at max hold 10 total stocks, okay? If you are going about the journey with me the correct way, at all times, we're trying to hold 10 total stocks, okay? Now, listen to this. In a bear market, less is more, okay? In a bear market, in a stock market crash, in the environment that we are in and have been in, less is more, okay? So in this particular case, guys, a few plays that you may want to kind of take comfort in, take safety in, okay, would be number one, Apple. Not, not because they won't experience any hurt, harm, or danger. It's just because the amount of abuse they will take will look a lot different than the amount of abuse that all other companies will take. So I want you guys to go as a homework assignment this weekend, go ahead and look at how much Apple is down. Now, no stock is exempt. Like I often say, man, if anybody is out here acting like plays aren't down, their portfolios aren't down, and they're trying to bring themselves up and lower someone else down, guys, again, wrong mindset to have, okay? All plays are down. Nobody investment strategy is 100% flawless and perfect, okay? In a correction in a bear market, no matter who you are, what you do, everybody plays down from Warren Buffett to Ray Dalio to Peter Lynch to whoever you think it's down, okay? With that being neither here nor there though, there's levels to even being down, okay? Now think about some of the high risk plays, okay? Think about high risk plays that are down 50, 60, 70 plus percent. Somebody go look at AMC. Somebody go look at Palantir. Somebody go look at ChargePoint. Okay. Somebody go look at DraftKings. Go look at Neo. Go look at that kind of stuff. Okay. Not through a negative lens, but just so you can make the proper correlation. Okay. Then you want to look at how much Apple is down. Everything is down. Okay. Down is down. We're not making any any qualms about it okay down is down but look at how much apple is down look at how much microsoft is down look at how much facebook is down look at how much nvidia is down everything across the board is beaten down but there's things you want to kind of pick up on so apple being one that you want to kind of flee to during a bear market okay and the other two plays you want to have is this you want to have a defensive stock, which can be a dividend stock, okay? It could be a dividend stock. It can be a company that pays a dividend, a high yielding dividend company during this time that is built to weather high inflation, interest rates, and things of that nature. And you can also choose a index, okay? A index fund, whether it's a high yielding index fund that pays a dividend, or you can choose something, as we often talk about around here, a VTI or a VOO, okay? Again, nothing is exempt, but the level that you will come down to will be far less significant than what you will experience in an individual high growth, small cap company, okay? A company that doesn't make money, a company that doesn't produce any products yet, a company that balance sheet looks horrible so do me a favor and understand how should i invest during a bear market at max during any time good bad or indifferent you want 10 total stocks okay if you're going beyond that then you begin to spread yourself thin it's almost impossible to keep up with more than 10 companies and know everything they're doing from the ins and out from the leadership changes to what's coming down the pipe from guidance to things of that nature okay so 10 is that sweet spot where it's a lot but it's manageable okay and then you don't have to have 10 that's just the max you can have seven you can have five but in this type of environment three good ones can get you through so what do you do with the other remaining stocks 
if you were to say get your way down to three that is a great question one thing you might want to consider is kind of shifting some things around okay if you can find some plays you still are in profit in and it won't serve as one of your three you got a decision to make if you want to maybe cut your loss to build up the three that you're going to be in that's a time you can potentially consider that remember guys you drive the ship you are the ceo of your portfolio however you can always keep your eye out for once your plays come to a level like say charge point or draft kings or palantir if you do want to get in them and you have a longer term outlook or a longer term horizon you can say man they just too attractive if they were to fall down at eight dollars nine dollars okay you can then still hop back in them with a with a with a with a strategically allocated amount that you want to throw back into them and while they rise back up at some point in time, they can make up for potential the potential losses you may have incurred along that journey, okay? So again, guys, the stock market and investing in general requires you to be flexible and nimble. If you just get stuck in a pattern, if you get stuck in, in a way that you are unwilling to make changes, maneuver, even if it's a tad bit based on the overall market environment, guys, you could be really setting yourself back, okay? Now, unless you are a true buy and hold investor that you never look at your portfolio, then again, please continue to do that because by the time you do look, all of this will be past us. But those of you that are actively managing your portfolio, actively trying to make strategic moves day in and day out please consider some of these things in terms of how you want to structure yourself during a bear market okay and so one more time man before we go three plays is what you want to consider go with best in class quality companies that have great earnings companies that have revenue free cash flow things of that nature okay that's kind of where you want to be at in terms of what should i choose okay i told you apple you don't want apple you can choose microsoft if you don't want microsoft you can choose something like facebook even okay then you want to grab you a nice dividend play okay some of the nicest ones i like is at&t verizon pfizer moderna okay then you can get something like an index. I told you, VTI, VOO, okay? Those are just a good mix to kind of weather the storm before you go back to piling on more stocks to your positions, okay? So again, guys, just, just throwing out different things for you to consider over the weekend as you prepare for the upcoming week in terms of ways you may want to strategize as this bear market looms over at least the Russell 2000, AKA small cap stocks, okay? And then from there, you guys gotta have a long-term outlook, have a longer-term perspective, because again, being short-minded in this environment will only cause more frustration and or cause you to panic, get anxiety, get stressed out, okay? Again, many of us are long-term investors, but in all honesty, these type of times, these type of periods, it's how we had to become one because we had to endure and then allow plays to come back. No different than right now, but I wanna make sure that you guys at least have some guidance on how to set yourself up during this type of environment, during this type of market and what you need, okay? Three plays is all you need, 10 plays max. Listen guys, on that note, we are gonna wrap it up, man, for this Saturday morning. Just wanted to put that on you guys and give you something to think about, okay? Be thinking about your three, okay? The the pivot may be temporary, okay? But you gotta remember to be flexible in them. You don't have to panic. You don't have to go crazy. This is not, this is not that, but this is just something that you guys might wanna think about, okay? Um, you can reduce your position size in certain plays. Like, you know what, I'm heavy. I'm heavy and so as the market goes down, I'm getting hit more because I'm so heavy in this particular play or this particular company or this particular sector. You can even reduce the weightings of some of your holdings just to make sure that you guys either are balanced or you're 
specifically putting the the focus on the three that you are looking to weather the storm with. And the weather and the storm don't mean that those plays are going to be up. They just means you will be down less. You will be down less in those plays because everything will get hit. Just some stuff won't get hit as hard. Some stuff may only go down 10, 15, 20, 25%, while others may go down 75, 85, 95%. That's the only difference I'm trying to put on the table right here, okay, guys? So listen, man, just wanted to put that on you guys. Won't hold you up. Please enjoy your Saturday. Remember, we make videos like this every day, so if you like this one, make sure you check out the next one. Remember, most people see the end result. Very few consider the journey. Do me a favor. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys grab some free stock. Use my link below, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.